a lot of people have asked me and I use both Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. Uh, there are a few trade-offs but uh, basically here's how it works. Either import directly into Lightroom CC or my old-fashioned Lightroom Classic import but if you import into Lightroom CC everything is stored in the cloud I'm doing air quotes there I know you can't see it and has to be downloaded into Lightroom Classic it's available in your settings right here so I have it saved into my NAS the exact same way as all my uh, imported files that way the files I import off a card and files I shoot on say my iPhone Android whatever all end up in the same place I used to separate it out uh, but now that it's all one in the same family let's let's have some fun so this shoot is from a while back and it's already on disk it's already synced with smart previews and I can see it in Lightroom web I can see it in Lightroom CC and as you can see down here, these images are smart preview only. So the originals are not available in the cloud. So now that I've done some edits and have things the way I want them, so show and explore, copy the path. In this case, I have the collection open or album as Lightroom CC likes to call it. And I'm just going to dump that in there. Review for import. And again, so the album's chosen, uh, but you don't have to. As long as the files are synced, CC and Classic will match them up. And this will, I don't want to say replace because the smart previews are also still in the cloud, but it will update this image reference and link the original to it as well. And because these smart previews are already in the cloud with edits, my edits will all get applied as well. Now there are a lot of things that don't sync, or at least not uh, back and forth. Some things will transfer. Keywords don't sync unless you export uh, an XMP file. So you can, in classic here, you can select the files you want, control S, and that'll save out a sidecar. Um, Face recognition doesn't sync. Labels don't sync. Color labels. And if you update your keywording in Lightroom CC, it will not sync down to Lightroom Classic. So that's how I get my older shoots online. Uh, lately, nowadays, I have the bandwidth. I just import in Lightroom CC. It downloads automatically to Lightroom Classic and saves a copy on my NAS. Uh, in Lightroom CC, I have it set to not store too much. Uh, don't keep smart previews. Don't keep originals. Just import. And if we run out of space, well, then empty it. You can set it to manage all your originals if you want. I'm still not there yet. I prefer Lightroom Classic and my NAS. Uh, although if I did have the space, I think I would keep a copy of entirely smart previews. For, for every collection. I think that'd be great for a, a travel laptop or something. But again, I don't have the space for that necessarily. Uh, if you sync any video into Lightroom CC, it will download to Classic, but Classic will not upload videos. I said you lose face recognition. Um, if you do a migration, that is a full-on migration of Lightroom into CC, it will keep your face region data, but Lightroom CC doesn't know what to do with it. It's just stored there for the future. Uh, I don't know if you can sync that up with an XMP or not. I have no way to test if Lightroom CC sees that or not. Uh, file deletion. If I delete a file from the cloud, all Lightroom Classic does is unsync it. You still have the local file, which can be a good thing if you know that's what you're doing. If you want to delete a file, you can delete it from inside Classic. Let's take one where he's looking away from us here. Oh, that one I don't like too much. Oh, I'm in the collection. So it's just going to remove it from sync. We don't want that. 
go to folder and library if I delete now here we go this will also remove the synced files if any from other Lightroom CC clients so I'm gonna go delete from disk permanently delete and that's gone or will be gone and then that will eventually be reflected online and everywhere so if you delete from the cloud Lightroom Classic will keep a copy if you delete locally it will remove it from the entire ecosystem if you have shoots online with smart previews your edits will be kept so if you don't have anything synced say it's a shoot that's offline and you want your edits to come with it you're gonna have to save smart previews because Lightroom CC doesn't access your Lightroom catalog if you're not doing a migration all it sees is my ARW files but if I save out an XMP file it is smart enough to read that in and you will get your edits keywording um, stuff like that uh, same with location data as well actually so it's not perfect but I still have Lightroom Classic as my powerhouse all my files are stored on my NAS but they are also backed up on the cloud via Lightroom CC with my edits uh, the only thing you have to be mindful of is deleting and if you create any extra files, say PSD files from round trips to Photoshop, Panorama or HDR merges, uh, make sure you take a second import trip and suck up those files. So again, typically I import in Lightroom CC and let it sync down. Uh, and then later on I'll suck up any uh, Panorama DNGs, Photoshop files, etc. But if I import from Classic, I let my Smart Preview sync maybe I even do some basic edits then I pull my originals up to the cloud as quickly as I can because hey backup is great then I'll go through do all my edits create any panoramas HDRs Photoshop edits and then I'll go in and I'll re-import the folder and it sees all the ARW files as duplicates and just grabs my PSD TIFF etc that's it play safe